Stop it! 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 Welcome everybody to the latest episode of Spot the Liberal. I am Kevin the Skull Anderson. It's a sad day in America. A very, very sad day because 71 million people, 71 million people were stupid enough and naive enough to elect a dementia suffering 78-year-old known pedophile and sex offender in Joseph R. Biden, former vice president of eight years, by the way, to the presidency of the United States. How far gone does a nation have to be to be that fucking dumb? I'm sorry, There, there's no excuse for it. I voted first day of early voting, October 15th of this year, 2020, straight Republican ticket. Anyone that had an R next to their name, I voted for them. And as much as I love to think, as much as I want to believe, that America has any hope and change coming to them, sadly, it's just going to be hopelessness and stagnation. It's not going to be hope and change. It's the opposite of that. That's exactly what Obama promised to deliver. Even though he promised hope and change, he really delivered stagnation and hopelessness and despair and $5 a gallon gas in some places. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but to all you black people and liberal women out there that voted for Joseph R. Biden, fuck you. Fuck you all. You fucked up this country because you were stupid enough to elect a Democrat to be president of the United States in the most important election in human history. How fucking dumb does a majority of voters have to be to vote straight Democrat? How stupid is that? I mean, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. I don't know what to think. You know, I'm recording this in my basement of all the places that I could record. I chose to record in my basement because I felt like it was the perfect place to vent out my frustrations for the next 40 minutes. We are so far gone as a nation now because we decided to elect a known dementia suffering pedophile to the presidency, the oldest man to be elected president since Donald Trump four years ago by an eight year margin. Well, I guess the third time's really the charm, isn't it? Considering Joseph Biden had ran for president three times, including this time. You know, not to mention the other two failed presidential bids he had wagered on in 2012 and 2016, knowing that he was going to lose. And then you have all these people trying to tell me that I can't name one thing that Donald Trump has done. Well, he got us out of the Iran nuclear deal. He got us out of NAFTA. He got us out of the Paris Accord. He got us out of so many disastrous treaties, so many disastrous deals made by our predecessors that were president before him. So many things he got us out of, and it saved us so much grief, so much money, and yet 71 plus million people in this nation. I'm, I'm sad to say it, but they're completely fucking retarded, and they just do not 
acknowledge it because they were naive enough to vote for a Democrat, not just any Democrat, a Democrat who had been the vice president for eight years and made a complete laughing stock of the vice presidency. Oh, and now he's going to be president for at least the next two years. Or better yet, he's not because he's he's got dementia, as I mentioned earlier. Because, you know, he referred to his granddaughter by the name Bo Biden. Bo Biden as in his dead military veteran son who died of cancer. If that doesn't tell you how far gone Joseph Biden is. Oh, and he's a known racist too. There's there's a video on YouTube called The Racist History of Joe Biden. Jim Crow Joe, they call him. You know, I'd love to think that America isn't the dumbest nation on earth, but judging based on what I've seen today and yesterday, I think it's safe to say that we Americans, through the fault of like 71 or 72 million people, have cemented our status as the most ignorant miseducated, misguided nation in the history of the human race. And this human race has been around how long? At least 200,000 years in its modern state. Of course, we evolved from monkeys, according to Charles Darwin, so technically that would make it more like 4 or 5 million years. But this is a sad day. It really is. I'm 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 sorry to say it like that, but it's a sad day. And now and now look at this. The Democrats are going to retain the house. The Democrats are probably going to take over the freaking Senate. So now what happens? Well, I'm going to tell you what happens. Because you voted for a Democrat, the Green New Deal is going to be extended and put into effect. And it's going to cause tens of millions of people to lose their benefits and lose their jobs and die in poverty because some stupid freaking liberals decided to vote for a pedophile in Joseph Biden. I can't believe I'm having a... I can't can't believe it. I can't believe it. I really... I really don't... I really don't get it, you know? I really don't get it. And it, it bothers me... It bothers me immensely that we as a nation could be that fucking stupid. I'm sorry. It, it just bothers me. And I really do not understand... For the fucking life of me, right? Here's here's the big insult, right? Here's the big insult. Of all the things we could have done as a nation, of all the things we could have done as a nation, we did the one thing that we should have never done We did the one thing that we should have never done, and we elected Joe Biden, Joe the Plum Dumb Biden, to a presidency that he never deserved. That fucking bothers me. That bothers me. A lot. And I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why people have to be this dumb, this abruptly, for no reason. I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't understand why people have to be this stupid 
to vote for a Democrat that they know is going to raise their taxes by four fucking trillion dollars. And this is, this is what gets me most of all, right? Here's, here's what really, here's what really gets my goat, right? We have a government that hates us, right? We have a bunch of Democrats in Congress that hate the ever-living fuck out of us to the point of assuming that we work for them, not the other way around. Well, newsflash, black people, newsflash, white liberals, newsflash, the government works for us, all of us. We do not work for them. We don't work for them. They work for us. We elect them to be our employees, and yet... In an election where literally everything is on the line. See, this is, this is what bothers me, right? We are a nation supposedly of critical thinkers, but we fucking speak before we think. We speak before we, this is what makes us the dumbest nation on the planet. I know that I've said it. I don't know how many times I've said it on my previous channel on YouTube, but we really are the dumbest nation on the planet by doing what we did in this election. And it's just sad because it didn't have to be like this. It, it didn't have to be like this. We could have saved ourselves from a Donald Trump, pre- from a Joe Biden presidency. We could have saved ourselves Four years of Biden and Harris. And what do we do? We do what we always do best, ladies and gentlemen. We Americans fucked up. We fucked up. This is really... This is really the kind of paradox that makes us stand out as a nation. Right? And this is... It's just, it's just, I don't get it anymore. We had so much potential with Donald Trump, and he's done so much for us. He got us out of all these disastrous deals. He he helped, he contributed in the death of ISIS and its leader, and he was responsible for saving... Countless nations from terroristic threats. And the one thing we shouldn't have done, we did anyway. We denied him a second term in the White House. And that, in my opinion, is not only one big-ass mistake, America, but it also cements us as the dumbest nation on the planet. And I I do genuinely believe that. I do. I do believe that. You want to know why? You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Okay? Hear me out on this. Please. If you could spend at least 27 more minutes of your time. Listen to me as I try to make the case. When the people at Fox News knew it was bullshit, they called the race in Arizona, even though only 74% of the total votes had been cast and balloted. Even though only three quarters of the total votes cast were counted. They called the race in Arizona for Joe Biden. Why did they do that? I don't know. Maybe they just got trigger happy. Maybe they shit the bed. Who knows? I don't fucking know. I don't even care. 
But there's a guy that works as the political analyst of some sorts, or whatever you call it. He calls races as he sees them, and he was interviewed by Fox News. One of their own was interviewed by Fox News, and he said that he didn't see there being enough votes for Donald Trump to secure Arizona, even though only three-quarters of the votes that were cast were counted. There had to be at least 800,000 more votes that had yet to be counted. Now, as of an hour ago, I would say 4.30. As of 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, an hour ago, there are still 14% of the votes in Arizona that have not yet been counted. Those votes could easily swing the Biden won state in Trump's favor and therefore secure Trump a second term in the White House. That's the only hope we have now, folks. This is what separates us from potentially four or eight years of the worst legislation ever passed by a government in history, including the $93 trillion Green New Deal. See, socialism has been tried in this country before, in case you haven't figured it out yet. Socialism has been tried in America before. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Andrew Jackson tried it. I'm pretty sure Ulysses S. Grant, even though he didn't mean to, who is the great-great-great-grandfather of one of my neighbors, I'm pretty sure he tried it at some point, even though he didn't realize what he was doing was completely screwing this nation red, white, and blue thus making America red, white, and screwed as a corporation of the Rothschild Central Bank. Look up the 1871 D.C. Organic Act and you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay? Seriously. Now, as you can see, as you can see, this is a slideshow right now that you are viewing in real time as it was recorded across Run a little bit more later. than, say, 24 hours. Look at Michigan. Biden was leading in that state by little less or little more than 45,000 votes. All those people there had the bright idea. 58,000 people somehow had the bright idea to vote for a third-party candidate in Joe Jorgensen. Who the hell is he or she? Who the hell is Joe Jorgensen? That's someone I've never heard of before. I didn't even know that Joe Jorgensen was running for president. If I had known that, I probably would have never voted I'm serious. I'm not even lying. I'm I'm not I'm not kidding. This is legitimately fact. Okay? So you're going to you're going to see what happens to Michigan in just a few minutes, right? Cuz this was taken just a few just a couple of hours after this screenshot was taken. Now, look at all the people that voted for a third party candidate. 58,000 voted for Jorgensen, 13,000 for Hawkins, don't know who that is, 7,000 voted for Blankenship, an independent candidate, don't know who that is, 3,000 people voted for De La Fuente, don't know who that is either, probably an illegal immigrant from somewhere in South America, probably, originally, I would have to say. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm just probably jumping to conclusions like I'm notorious for doing. But 
America. We're supposed to be a land of the free, a home of the brave. We're supposed to be a nation for, of, and by the people, and for all the people, including the 70 some million people that voted for Joe Biden who clearly are going to get everything that's coming to them now because they don't know what real hope and change is because they had that for freaking four fucking years and then they fucked that up when they voted for Joe Biden. See, this is what I don't understand, right? If it weren't for social media, if it weren't for the internet, we would not have all this information that we have at our disposal regarding Joe Biden. We would not have known that he was a dementia-suffering pedophile, and probably still is, as far as I'm concerned. We would not have known that Arizona was called way too early, at about the worst possible time, when still, as of this very moment, as I speak to you, probably 300,000 more votes have yet to be counted over there. Now, in case you haven't figured out, black people were brought into this country by southerners of European descent some 500, 400 years ago through slave ships. Slavery existed back then. You might even say it still exists now, even though it was supposed to have been abolished in 1865 or 1863 by Abraham Lincoln, who, by the way, was responsible for resolving the Civil War in the favor of the Union, and not the Confederacy who surrendered to the Union through General Robert E. Lee. Here's what gets me, right? Here's what gets me. We are a nation. Under God, in the visible, well, we're not anymore, obviously. But we're supposed to be a nation. Under God, in the visible, with liberty and justice for all. But apparently, somewhere down the line, we screwed that up when we elected Andrew Jackson to become our president in 1828. We somehow screwed that up, and we somehow screwed ourselves so far up the butt that Andrew Jackson enacted a genocidal act known as the Trail of Tears that forced Native Americans to move from their God-given lands that they had owned for thousands of years to other states in, say, Utah. Idaho, something like that. And now what we have, now what we have is a nation of dwindling indigenous attendants. There are only like 4 million Native Americans left in this country. About, probably not even 4 million, probably more like 3 million. Or three and a half million. But here, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, we should know we Michael have a nation is a liberal, ugly that is supposed to be proficient in critical thinking, the number one leading country in inventions. And so, what we have here, When I took this screenshot, it was Biden 248, Trump 214. Am I right or am I right? And it's just, it really, really boggles my mind. It really boggles my mind to think of how stupid a decision that we made as a nation. It really, really boggles my mind. I... I don't know what to say now. I don't. So I'm just going to I'm just going to yammer on for the next I don't know how long. 
and I'm going to continue making this case for at least the next 15 minutes, at most about 17. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are supposed to have a constitution that allows us to vote for people that we think are the right candidates for the job. But unfortunately, we voted for, for a man who not only wants to defund the police, not only wants to take God out of schools and churches, but will abuse the Constitution and trample on it in the same way that Andrew Jackson did, that Richard Nixon did. That Ulysses S. Grant did. Remember, this is, this is one of my neighbor's great, great, great grandfathers we're talking about here. In the way that Ulysses S. Grant supposedly did when he signed into law the 1871 DC Organic Act. Like, I don't know, like Woodrow Wilson did when he created the fucking Federal Reserve. You remember that? The history books won't teach you that anymore. I can tell you that. They won't teach you that shit anymore. Because history books are full of lies now. Schools are just so behind the times, it's unbelievable. And and now, and look at what we got here. Okay? Look at what we have here. We are supposed to be a constitutional republic. You know why we're not a constitutional... You know why we're supposedly a democracy now? Because Thomas Jefferson had the bright idea of extending the electoral process into a political party and an electoral process. And not only did he make a mistake in doing that, not only did he make a mistake in doing that, but this country, two years after his death in 1826 elected a man hell-bent on anti-constitution legislation. Of course, I'm talking about Andrew Jackson. The same Andrew Jackson who ordered the Trail of Tears to be enacted and therefore resulting in the deaths since then, leading to now, of almost 100 million Native Americans, which is why there are so few of them left now. And there's going to be a lot fewer of them after Biden is done being president or trying to play president. And of course, we know he's not going to last three months because he suffers from dementia. In case you haven't figured that out yet. Look, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you know... I'm going to make a bold, I'm going to make a very, very, very unpopular opinion. And I know it might offend you. I know it might piss you off. But I'm going to call it like it is. I'm going to call it the way I see it. I might not be right for saying this, but black people should have never been given the right to vote. Women should have never been given the right to vote either. If they, if the people knew that giving blacks and white women the right to vote would lead to this, a Biden presidency of, of course, that won't happen if Arizona turns the tide in Trump's favor. That won't happen, obviously. But only if Arizona turns the tide in Trump's favor, then we can stop worrying about Biden possibly being our 46th president and we can focus on Trump rebuilding our economy again after the Democrats destroyed it this year in 2020. As if the 2008 financial crisis wasn't enough. Eight years later, they are hell-bent on destroying a man's reputation as a world-famous multi-billionaire businessman who did a lot of good for this world before he was elected president and has done a lot of good since leading up to the election this year, 2020. 
And here's where this gets really fucked up. Michigan had been called about 5 o'clock this evening, November the 4th, 2020, Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. 99% of the votes were counted. And that means... Well, of course we know what that means. Unless Arizona gets its shit together in the next couple of days, Biden, a dementia-suffering pedophile who is hell-bent on defunding every police station in every city in this country, is going to be our president. This is what angers me. This is what bothers me. Right? And the Chinese knew about the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan, in their province of Hebei, before it got sent and shipped to all these other countries and territories. And they didn't tell a damn soul about it. They didn't tell America about it. They didn't tell England about it. They told nobody about it. And that's why the world hates China. Back to the point. Back to the point now. If 71 million people knew that Joe Biden was going to defund their police departments in their respective cities and states and potentially pack the courts with liberals, why the fuck? Why? Would they even bother going out in droves to vote for Joe motherfucking Biden? I don't understand that either. Because, you know, I hate to say it like this, but America dies tonight. There is no America anymore. It's, it's, now, it's now Venezuela white. Venezuela very light. You know why? Except we don't we don't have an excuse. Venezuela had an excuse. They had an opportunity to change the course of history in their in their part of the world and elect someone similar to their previous leader before they elected Nicolas Maduro, a fucking bus driver who knew nothing about politics, by the way. And look what happened to them. They are now eating out of trash bags. They are now eating out of garbage cans. They're standing in line, waiting for bread, knowing that it's going to cost them everything that they've got, just to get one piece of of bread. One piece of bread. One piece of bread. It'll cost you everything that you got in Venezuela. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> oh. We Americans are such fucking idiots. We don't know who we're voting for until it's too late, and then we get fucked up the ass because of our own shortcomings. We are literally a nation of screw-ups. We're a nation of probably the dumbest people on the planet who have no idea what they're getting into now because Joe Biden is probably going to be our next president. I'm sad to say. And then you got all these people. Oh, by the way, just a quick, just a quick off topic note, completely unrelated. Rush Limbaugh has terminal cancer. He's not going to be on this planet much longer. Back to the topic again. Notice the pattern here? If we were to elect people that know what the hell they're doing, right? People like Christy Bonnet, 
in North Carolina. At least North Carolina's got its shit together. It voted for the right person this time. Donald fucking Trump. The greatest president of any president in American history. Since Abraham Lincoln. At least since Abraham Lincoln. I mean, if nothing else, right? I mean... Seriously, I mean, this is just, this is me being real with you, okay? To all you black people and to all you liberal women that voted for Donald Trump, I mean, don't, I mean, no disrespect when I say this, but you fucked this nation up by voting for Joe Biden. You killed this nation. Just saying. Just saying. And do you know what he's going to do when he gets in Washington? Oh, by the way, by the way, Arizona was called, even though 84% of the votes had already been counted, which is not nearly enough to call race, by the way. (laughs) Oh, my God. The only saving grace that we have now is Arizona and the Supreme Court. Luckily, it's a 6-3 to three Supreme Court in favor of the conservatives, which I'm pretty sure will do the right thing and, and, and tell us all about the crimes that Joe Biden committed while he was vice president and in his 47 years, 48 years as a politician. He, he pretty much gave up his right to be a human being when he became a politician because he knew what he was getting himself into and didn't even care to know that whatever he was getting into. This is why some people shouldn't belong in politics. Like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You might as well call her Abby Cadabby at this point. From Sesame Street. Like I said, To all you black people and liberals, to all you black people and white women that voted for Donald Trump, that voted for Donald Trump, thank you. Because you've done so much good just by voting. All you first time voters that voted for Donald Trump this year, thank you. But to all you people who voted Joe Biden, oh my God. You're going to get so fucked up the ass, you're not even going to see it coming. And it's going to be well-deserved, too, because you know what? That Green New Deal is going to be passed. And when it gets passed, oh, boy. You guys are going to be so screwed. You're going to be red, white, and screwed. I'm telling you, this is, this is not a joke. This is really happening. I'm I'm serious. This is actually happening. I'm telling you what. We as a nation it's we've we've come to this as a nation. No other nation in the history of the world has fallen so far from grace so quickly as us. I swear to God, I I'm I'm telling you, I could, I could name a couple examples of nations that might be an exception to the rule, <coughs> Venezuela. But when it comes to a constitutional republic, you cannot vote for people that will destroy it at any means or any costs necessary. You cannot do that. It's not logical, it's not reasonable, it's not in any conscience whatsoever, good or bad. You cannot fucking do that. You cannot vote for people that will do anything it takes to destroy our beloved Constitution, which has been in our nation since the very beginning, just about. Dating back to the 1780s, 1770s. All those decades ago, and and yet, you people, you liberal voters, had to make the biggest mistake of your lives by voting for a dementia-suffering, 78-year-old, just about 80-year-old Joe Biden, 
into the 46th president of the United States. The 46th president of the United States. Because you didn't think your 45 worked, did you? Well, your 45 fucking worked for four years, but you didn't fucking see it because you stupid liberals don't give a damn about common knowledge and reason. Ladies and gentlemen, it's like I said at the beginning of this. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm not saying this because I want to be of spite to anybody. I'm saying this because it's the fucking goddamn truth. And if you, if we as a nation cannot see the truth for exactly what it is, not what we make it to be, then quite frankly, we don't deserve to have a constitution anymore. We don't deserve to have a nation anymore. Not like this. Not if we're just going to vote for any old geezer like Joe Biden who suffers from memory loss and dementia and refers to his granddaughter as a dead son of his. Look up barely alive. Look up barely there Biden.com. I swear to God, you will find so many interesting things about him that confirm my lack of faith in him that quite frankly you'll laugh your ass off at just how inane he truly is how clueless he's become especially over the last 12 years anyway I'm going to get the hell out of here thank you very much for watching this episode of Spot the Liberal YouTube might take this down I don't know we'll see Good night, everybody. This is a Skull Media production.